installation of a Tilton master cylinder is critical for safe brake and clutch operation. Fortunately, the process is straightforward and easily accomplished with a bit of care. First, let's look at the physical mounting and mechanical operation of the master cylinder. The bolts or studs that attach the master cylinder to the pedal assembly need to be the correct length. Too short and they may not completely engage the mounting threads. Too long and they may contact the master cylinder's intake boss and actually break the body of the master cylinder. The master cylinder should be mounted so that the angle of the push rod is aligned with the bore within 3 degrees throughout its stroke. Shortening the push rod or lengthening it using an extension may be required to keep the push rod properly aligned. Even when using a tilt and pedal assembly, it's possible to fall outside of the 3 degree range if care isn't taken with the assembly position. The tension of the return spring inside the master cylinder is designed to return the piston and push rod, but may not be sufficient to return some pedal designs. For this reason, a pedal assembly with external return springs is advisable for both the brake and the clutch. For both clutch and brake systems, fluid pressure must be allowed to bleed off to the reservoir when the pedals are at rest. Ensure that the adjustment of the pedals doesn't put any preload on the master cylinder push rods. When plumbing a tilt and brake master cylinder, the high pressure output side should only be plumbed with steel fittings for safety. Aluminum may be used on the low pressure inlet side leading to the master cylinder and on both the inlet and outlet sides of the clutch master cylinder, as long as care is taken not to over torque the fittings. All Tilton master cylinders utilize AN 3 outlet ports, except the 73 series, which has a 1 8 inlet NPT port. Never use any sealant or Teflon tape on AN fittings. The Tilton 76 Series Master Cylinder features dual outlet ports and the top port is extra deep to facilitate the use of banjo fittings. These type of fittings can be used on all Tilton AN-3 outlet ports, as long as care is taken to make sure the banjo bolt isn't too long. Due to the fact that some anti-lock brake systems can send high-pressure pulses back through the system, Damage may occur to the primary high-pressure seal in Tilton 73, 75, 76, and 77 series master cylinders. The Tilton 74 series includes an internal baffle that makes it compatible with anti-lock brakes. The master cylinder reservoir should always be the highest point in the brake or clutch system. Using a remote reservoir allows the master cylinder to be mounted below the reservoir. Whenever possible when routing brake or clutch lines, maintain a downward path from the master cylinder to the brake caliper or clutch hydraulic release bearing to avoid vertical loops, valleys, and high spots that can trap air bubbles and make the system more difficult to bleed. Finally, use only quality DOT3 or 4 brake fluid and never use silicone-based DOT5 fluid. Tilton Master Cylinders utilize EPDM seals that are compatible with all major brands of racing brake fluid. Installing a safe, effective hydraulic brake or clutch system isn't difficult when you follow these simple rules. For more information about Tilton Engineering's complete line of high-performance hydraulic components, visit TiltonRacing.com or call our experts at 805-688-2353.